Hey guys, Mr. T here, Kraken. Thanks for tuning in again as usual. Um, we got some second half of Uprising to open today. And then we're going to switch over and start opening up some remastered for my shorts. Hope everybody's doing okay. It is still late night, so let get right into it. I gotta say, actually, it's really nice because the dogs are mostly quiet. Nobody's nobody's really um, out and about this time of day to really upset them, so it's pretty nice. Pretty nice, you know. Got 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 at least one or two videos without them barking in the background. That's always a plus. Uh, so recap on this. Um, I mean, who knows? I always thought about that. Uh, do I really need to recap because these videos are only a day or two apart? Um, but if you haven't seen the first box, first half of this box, we've already hit our cold foil. Um, fortunately, it was a cold foil rare, not much value. Um, as I think more about it and open more of flesh and blood, and then I open my magic collector boxes for shorts i really 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 hope that they one day oh Ooh. there we go oh my gosh second cold foil box i don't uh, i don't even know if frost hex is a big one but holy crap that looks beautiful oh i had a feeling it was going to be another freaking cold foil box so we like so the reason I say that, first of all, first half of the box was only four Majestics, which is really, really weird um, when you open this product up. Usually you're hitting five in your cold foil, um, or you'll hit five or six in the other half. So to only hit four in your cold foil already was a rare. I just, I don't know. Something was telling me this is uh, the second half. There should be another cold foil in there. Uh, I don't know what I'm pretty sure Frost X was a good majestic to begin with. Um, but I don't know what the cold foil value is going to be. I'm not, I really don't keep track like that. I know what some of those big, big ones look like. Um, and I'm, it's not a dragon, so it's kind of hard. It's not a marble. I mean, you never know though. Could pull another marble. Anyways, um, as I was saying, I just think it would be really, really cool if LSS did go the did go the route of of pulling collector backs. Like if we had a higher end pack to open, I would really like that. I mean, for me, the shorts go great. They're they're quick. I'm able to open up. I'm able to create content over a long term, like long period of time from a product that costs a lot more. Uh, for any of you guys who are out there who um, don't really understand that, what that means, we have, what, Command, like the, the big thing right now is everybody's talking about this Commander Legends. If, if you're seriously thinking that everybody's gonna sit there and just crack open three, four hundred dollar boxes, I mean, no offense, but it, it, that gets even hard for me because everything I open on here is from my own position. So that means I'm giving up a portion of my long-term hold when I when I open products. So, oh, beautiful, beautiful Arctic incarceration. So just something to keep in mind when it comes to content creators like myself who are basically funded on by themselves until they're able to get to that point where, you know, I do have help of monetization. I even looked it up later, um, just to kind of get an idea of what I'm going to be able to give back later. I mean, even to, even after monetization, you're not talking a crazy amount of, of money to be able to, to do additional openings off of. So, I don't know. I just... The whole point is, is I think the collector packs for Flesh and Blood, if they actually did it correctly, would be amazing. Um, I would really enjoy opening that for the for the channel for content. I wish Magic was much better. I wish we weren't going in the direction of the prices we're seeing. I don't understand how a draft box or 
a set box at $400 is going to be feasible. I don't even know what you could put in there. I literally hate this Frightmare. And I guess I spoke too soon. There go the dogs. Um, maybe there's a cat on the porch. Who knows? But... I hate getting that majestic so much, but yeah, I don't, I don't see like what are they gonna put into a four hundred dollar, five hundred dollar box, thirty six packs, um, that's gonna make us want it. Now I will say, I don't know what that ring card is gonna be. That serialized ring card for the Lord of the Rings is gonna be when that set comes out, but it better be a friggin' soul ring. Just saying. It better be a serialized soul ring. Thing better be beautiful. I cannot wait to see how they do that. That is, I love the Lord of the Rings. I mean, hey, I'm opening flesh and blood. And if, like, the whole idea of rangers, of knights, of that kind of fantasy realm that's always been exciting to me. Um, yeah, that's, that's going to be amazing. I don't even know. Like, if I could flip and open one of those on camera... I'd probably lose it. I might actually lose it. Like, I'd have to open it live. Just so in case I fall over, <laughs> someone can call 911. <laughs> oh, enough rambling from me, guys. Thanks for watching, Mr. T. Kraken. Make sure to subscribe, support the channel. Appreciate, appreciate everybody. And, uh, you know, go ahead and start on this tonight. So, more spoiler. Have a good night, guys.